So now I'm gonna show you guys how to put the chain on your go-kart. But before I actually zoom in and show you guys where it goes, I wanna tell you guys this. Whenever you have a chain from your go-kart, and again, if you guys don't remember where this goes, you know that gear on the engine that spins whenever your engine's running? And there's also a gear on your rear axle to spin the wheels. This is the chain that connects those two gears. So therefore, whenever your engine's working, then your tires are spinning. The gears just don't connect like a clock, gear on gear. So now before I talk to you guys about this chain, I want to point out this. You remember when you're a little kid and riding your bicycle around town and sometimes you know you hit a jump and your chain came off? Well then what you would do is you just grab your chain, put it back on your gears on your bicycle, ride it and it would pop right back on. The gears for automotive chains are, I mean excuse me, the chains for like cars or go-karts or motorcycles are really different. They don't have pretty much any play in them at all. They're tight and designed specifically to fit perfectly on your gears. So when this thing pops off or if you need to replace it, you can't just, you know, put it back on by hand. What you need to do is you actually need to unlink it. So how do you unlink this chain? Well, the first thing you need to do is take a close look at the chain at all the separate links. Now, if you do, you're going to notice that one link is quite a bit different than the others. Can you guys see? It's this one right here. So the reason this link looks different is because this is the one link in this chain that is supposed to unlink. So at first, what you have to do is you have to remove this top clip. Now on one side of the clips, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's an opening. So wherever that opening is, it kind of looks like a mouth. Push it away from that opening so it's going to unlink. Now this is always kind of a pain to do, so let me see if I can get it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now the clip is removed from the links. Now all you have to do is slide it and it pops right off. If you guys can see, there's the clip. Now aside from the clip, there's also one more bracket holding the chains together. And this is just for strength because you guys pr probably can't tell, but this little clip isn't very strong. So once you have those two pieces undone, your chain's going to be able to unlink and be removed. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and put this around the gears, put it back together, and just remember in this order, the big bracket for strength, and then your clip's going to go on like this, and then it's going to push into place, and I probably can't push it with my thumb, come on baby, right like that. So let's go ahead and get to it. So now go ahead and locate your two gears. This one right here is for the rear axle. Let me go ahead and spin my tire so you can see. See that little gear with all the teeth spinning? That's the gear that makes the wheel spin. And this one right here is for the engine. Whenever this engine fires up, this thing's going to start spinning. So obviously, as you can tell, if we just started it right now, the engine gear would start spinning, but nothing would happen with the tires. So in order to fix that, go ahead and grab your chain. And let me go ahead and put it on the rear axle first. Spin it, make sure it's on all the teeth. All right guys, so sorry you didn't see that, but uh, my hands were in the way, I could hardly see, so there's no way I was gonna get a good camera angle. But now, as you can see, let me go ahead and spin the rear axle. Whenever we do that, the engine and the tires, or where the tires are gonna be whenever we install them, are now linked. So then, if we went ahead and fired up this engine, our wheels would now spin. And by the way, if you're having trouble getting your chain on because it's just too tight, what you can do is actually unbolt the engine and lift it a little bit, and it may give you a little bit of slack. As you can see right there, it may be a little bit easier to get your chain on. But anyways, now that your chain is on, congratulations, you're now ready to start installing the shifter cable.